you just joined us, two Pennsylvania State Troopers were killed overnight along with a citizen out on I-95 right by the football stadium, by the Eagle Stadium. Um, and they've taken one of the officers' bodies here now to the medical examiner's office. This is right on the intersection of 15th and Callow Hill. So they came off the Viney Street Expressway, went over to Broad Street, came down Callow Hill, took a right on 16th, and then went over to Spring Garden. Now they're coming back down 15th to the entrance so the medical examiner's van can go inside of that building. There's a big garage door there. It could be uh, door number two there, or three. So you can see, obviously, this is the second of the state police victims that have been brought over to this location with a medical mm -hmm. examiner. As you can see them um, with the flag, certainly our American flag, the state trooper's flag, the specific flag for Troop K, and I believe also the Pennsylvania flag right there as the standard bearers. As the medical examiner's uh, van now backs into the police department, our new headquarters building there at Broad and Callow Hill, Horrible crash. Seems it seems like it happened around 12:30, maybe 12:45, right by the link on 95. It seems as if the troopers had pulled over someone on the side of the road. Uh, I don't know why they, the vehicle was stopped, but along came another vehicle and slammed into the three people. They had taken the the driver of the vehicle out of the car. The troopers had. There were three of them. It seems like they were standing there, and they all got hit and killed. And it's hard to see from this vantage point, but I think Steve Keeley is reporting that the door was ripped off. Yeah, both the uh, both doors of the trooper's vehicle, uh, it's an SUV, got ripped off. Well, that looks like it might be the other person that was initially stopped their vehicle. And you're probably wondering what happened to the person who was driving the car that slammed into these three people. We're not sure about that. There were reports that the person took off on foot. But this is basically, I mean, it's an elevated roadway, you know, right there by the link. All right, uh, um, Lana, where do you want to go? Okay, Bob, what are you hearing? Yeah, the, you're right. The, it is an elevated roadway, and right below that would be the Jetro parking lot that so many of us park uh, when we go down to the Eagles games. But let's go outside to a live look right now at 614, 95, still closed in both directions between Broad Street and the Walt Whitman Bridge. All traffic heading south. If you're heading toward the airport, I'll have the detour for you. Plus, Sue will have the forecast and more right after a quick break.